Welcome to my lair. Welcome, I don't think so, but enter. Enter my lair if you dare. I'm your host, the Warlock. Welcome back to Public Domain Day, Part 2. Not exactly a day, but for those that missed it yesterday, as of January 1st, a bunch of home movies entered public domain for free and fair use by anyone. After Dom Juan was actually pretty good <laughs> for an hour and 52 minutes, today's movie will be an hour and 29 minute romantic, The Winning of Barbara Worth. What's this about? I have absolutely no fucking idea. The only actor I recognize in it is Gary Cooper, who a year from this point will be in the very first Best Picture winning Wings. But that's a different winning than today. This movie is rated 7 out of 10 on IMDb, so I hope at least it's quick to sit through. As with any other silent movie, there'll be no dialogue, so we're going to have to rely on title cards and music to tell the story. Grab your popcorn, grab your drink, and grab your woman, because it's time for The Winning of Barbara Worth. Samuel Goldwyn of Metro Golden Mayor. Adapted for the screen by Francis Marion, who was uh, one of the from the famous novel by Harold Bell Wright, which is also in the public domain now, by the way. Metro Goldwyn Mayor. Now, see, people actually want to grow up to be Carl Oscar Borg, don't they? Must be Bjorn Borg's father. Released by United Arts Corporation. Here's your cast of characters. Yeah, there's Gary Cooper. If you recognize any of these people, God help you. Barbara Worth, played by Vilma. V v v v Vilma. If you couldn't say it correctly. The Seer. Alright, here we go, here we go. Sunk into the earth like a great molten bowl lay the desert, unconquered empress of the wilderness, beautiful, mysterious, merciless. A tawny siren, whispering promises of a paradise beyond, crushing out the lives of men in its poisonous embrace. Oh, who needs a movie? You can just text it. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Oh. Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> the end of the rainbow for one little family of home seekers from the East. What year was it supposed to be? I know the movie's from 1926, but what? Oh, boy. Well, somebody's dead. I just had to bury my husband. Alive. <laughs> Mom, why'd you bury Daddy? Well, kid, you'll understand when you're older. Well, she's not winning very much if she just had to bury her husband. Unless Barbara's the daughter, I guess? I don't know. This movie's not explaining shit. You know, silent movies are supposed to have title cards and music. Right now we got neither one of them. Well, no, wait, wait, we got church organs. She just took the her daughter's babe, uh, toy crib to make a cross. You know that first sandstorm is just going to blow that away, right? Whoa. At the last water hole on the same desert trail, the outfit of Jefferson Worth. Well, so much for him. Oh, look, a dead... Look at that. A <laughs> dead scalp. Bones everywhere. Water's mighty low, Mr. Worth. 
Hey, gummit. That kind of looks like, I know it takes, but I guess we'll pull through. That kind of looks like Tom Selleck a little bit. Look at this guy's beard. It looks like so unnatural. Like he's in disguise. Well, oh, that don't beat all. Look, over there. If you could bring water into this wasteland, it would become one of the garden spots of the earth. Now, how do you suppose we do that? Perhaps we'll be able to do it someday. Hey, what am I doing? Hey, Pat Moon, you loafer. I told you to fill the bar to the premium. Huh? You didn't tell me to do shit. What the devil's an inch of water between friends? Drop of water will look like a Pacific Ocean to you before we get across this desert. <laughs> look at the horse. I'll drink that leavings of no mule. I ain't heard the mules kicking about drinking after you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not going to drink spoiled water. It's like, you little sand flea. I could tie you in the knot, but I think I will. <laughs> <laughs> a bone knot. You do a bone knot. Oh, he did. He literally knocked him in. <laughs> Look at this. He actually did it. Oh, oh, ow, ow. Ooh, a rattlesnake. <laughs> look, look, he shot the, he shot the stick! <laughs> the other guy thinks he's dead. <laughs> Get up, I didn't touch him. <laughs> he threw water on him. Get up, you fake artist. Meanwhile, back of the hole. Well, clearly he's not. Uh, she's not winning. Where's this winning I heard about? And the muffler falls. Wait, there's no muffler in a fucking wagon. Oh, don't look! Don't look! Don't look! Okay, look for a second. No, oh, no, 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 don't look! Don't look. That umbrella won Best Supporting Actor. <laughs> Actually, no, I can't say that. There was no Oscars yet. It wasn't a ceremony until 1928. This is 1926. Them dancing dust devils will play hell with us before even. Eh, hey, shit, I think you're right, boss. What the hell is that? Is that a tornado? A fire tornado. Oh. I'm going to haul my fat ass out of here. Mush! 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 Aww. Oh, wait, those are dogs. <laughs> Alright, if there's something coming your way, don't just stop and stare at it. Sandstorm's coming, we got to make cover quick. Oh, shit, it's rude. Get it? Rude sandstorm. Yeah, yeah. If there's a sandstorm, yeah. <laughs> Why do you just get out of there? No. Oh, so Barbara, Barbara, what's her name, is uh, caught in the sandstorm. All right, she's doing everything but winning. Are you kidding me? 
And there go the horses! <laughs> oh my god! Look at this! She's doing everything but winning. That's what the wind sounds like out here. I don't even think this will last, takes. I don't know, maybe a year. Maybe three hours, maybe three days. Well, this sucks. <laughs> hey, today's newspaper. Oh, my wife's underwear. Where are you going to run with a child? You're surrounded by miles of desert. A merciless scourging by the screaming wind, then a sudden lull and unholy calm. <laughs> They're making this more epic than it actually is. Oh, look at that. The wagon got uh, buried in the sandstorm. Holy shit, what happened here? Nice yellow light. I know. See, that's the thing. Of... They're recording this outside in the daytime. So, by 1926 standards, it's going to look like shit. Hey, guys, dig it, dig! We find some scrap in here. Ain't no use digging, Mr. Worth, besides our water's too low to stay here any longer. So, they figured out that's the Worth rack, w wagon. How? How did they know that was the Worth wagon? <laughs> oh, no, look! Find a place to take a nap. Is she dead? Hey, hey, look! Over there! See that? Oh, yeah, it's a woman. No, no, not that. The crater next to her. We can hide in there. <laughs> Is she dead? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Wow, this kid's having a bad day. Barbara wants a drink. Oh, so the so Barbara Worth is the kid. Well, she had a she's not winning at all. She lost both her parents in the same day. I don't know what the father died of, but the sandstorm killed the mom. And then we fade to black. Eternal heat and loneliness, the slow passing of fifteen sun parched years, desolation still unconquered. So, in other words, fifteen years later. Beyond the Bay Frontier lay Rubio City. What it took 15 years to get there? The home of Jefferson Worth, who died 15 years earlier, who has just complained a gigantic plan to bring water to the desert. Completed. Wow. An idiot. Oh, I see what they're saying. No, 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 no. Jefferson Worth is the guy that saved the girl and adopted her, Barbara Worth. Got it. Jefferson Worth, Rubio City. Arriving today with my chief engineer, Willard Holmes. Stop. If your surveys are correct in Colorado River can be tapped for irrigation purposes, 
will furnish necessary capital. Green James Greenfield, eleven fifty two AM. Telegram. Mm -hmm. We need to bring those back. Oh no, 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 no. Carrier pigeon. The baby of the sandstorm has adopted daughter Barbara Worth. Damn! Carrie, she's 15. Oh, she was like 18. She had to be at least three when they rescued her. <sighs> More ale, Winch. Your dream that's coming true, the desert will bloom into a paradise. We're going to call it Las Vegas. Giddy up, Buttercup. And she falls off. Hold it, hold it, hold it. To the left, to the left. No. Oh, yeah. I'd say smile, but nobody's smiling these days. Ah! <laughs> Henry Lee, the seer, whose prophetic vision of a garden in the wilderness grows brighter daily. All right, over there I see a woman. The little boy of yesterday, his son Abe. Named after the president. Hey, look, a motor car. Jesus, what year is this? Remember those old car old cars? Mm -hmm. Used to go putt 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 ooga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With a vision of golden harvest, James Greenfield and his foster son Willard Holmes were turned back right here. <clears throat> look at look at that! And you, in those days, you had to wear that shit when you're in a car. And they call this God's country. The fry of treachery. Called getting out and pushing. Morris is gonna hit him with the head with a shovel. Uh oh, we got a bandit. Oh no, 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 it's just Barbara Worth. No, she is the bandit! Mm. Hey, boy! My son, you don't need a telescope to tell you that's Barbara. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, her chest gives it away. I don't anyway. Now, you should put a three... This was before the Three Stooges. What you should do is, like, put the hand over the thing and you're like, Hey! Mm -hmm. <laughs> whoa, 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 rodeo! Hey, 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 look at that! Hey, 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 old Silver, calm down. Whoa. Oh, that's clearly a stunt double. <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a move if she dies, what, five minutes into it? 17, sorry. Alright, she's dead. Movie's over. Go to bed. Oh, no. Hey, we got a shovel here. We just dig her a grave. She's not dead yet. Mm. Yeah, let me steal her wash while I'm at it. All right, you can w wake up now. You fell off your damn horse. Oh yeah, well, that was old time. Right, you can go uh, two miles that way, and uh, <laughs> which kindly point me to the direction of the turnpike. <laughs> Hold on, I'll go get that horse. Yeah, ma'am, ten four. Gonna have to shoot him. I'm Mr. Holmes of New York City. My great grandfather was Sherlock. I'm Miss Worth of Rubio City. Yeah, that place is a shithole. I've been there. Uh, excuse me, sir. A uh, little help over here. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, my car's stuck in the ditch. You want to help us out? No. <laughs> He's got the horse. 
Uh, hey. Hey, I got your horse. Anybody listening? No? She's talking to the horse. It's not Mr. Ed. What kind of name is Elber for a man? And they ride off into the sunset. Movie's over. All right, let's go do something. Now I know why they call this God's country. Because uh, anywhere else is a law's country. What? All right, guys, push, push. Now, imagine this in today's world. Imagine a, a, like a, the horses dragging a car. Why didn't we think of that today? <laughs> the festival in honor of the Easterners affectionately acclaimed as builders of a new empire. What's that? Look at that suit! You know, you can make fun of this all you want, but this was our great grandparents. I don't know how I can fun of nothing. Is that Abe who's jealous? I don't know. It is. That's right. You know, because Mr. Holmes is the one dancing with Barbara, and Abe is like, ah, oh, goddammit. <laughs> hey, guys, I spiked the punch. Or is that her? Whoa! Look, look at that! Mm. <laughs> we, we just switched colors! What? What's with the color switch? Because it's outside and it's dark. <laughs> Who's schizophrenic? <laughs> what are we going to do out here in the dark? Mr. Holmes, do you realize that all these people you are an... To all these people you are an angel from heaven? Nah, I'm actually the devil. See, I kind of look like Clark Gable, so I'm going to act like him. I'm really only the engineer for a soulless corporation bent on making big money quick. We're called Apple. <laughs> Ding 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 ding! I'm a giant pie-headed man. Drink right out of the. And we cut needlessly. A toast. Sorry, folks. Should have told you about the subplot. Look at that stash. That needs to make a comeback. Hello. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, hello. <laughs> Cringe. Is that what Daniel Stern says? Well, hello. Yeah. You can get smacked. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ma'am. Uh, would you like to dance? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh my you. God, it's like me and you. <laughs> uh. Uh, uh, yeah, you got a ladder under there? <laughs> Just jump. Stand on that chair. Don't bump into anyone. Now look at the portly lady. Ding 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 ding. Hey, Clark Gable looking like now. What are we gonna do? Home, home on the range. All right, I'm bored. Kiss me. Something, anywhere. Hmm. What the TV on back home? Wait a minute. There is no such thing. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Hey, look at these filthy pigs. Stop giving them the googly eyes and say something. There you go. You're wasting yourself here, Miss Worth, like an orchard in a bucket of sand. I'm going to dump that bucket on your head. <laughs> you don't know the desert as I do. It is beautiful. I'll go back into it. Perhaps for one moonlit night, but if you could see the big cities, if they could see you. <laughs> Man after my own heart. Big city! Big city night! To redeem the desert, to make it all one garden, isn't that a fine thing to do? Well, not really. Sunset. 
So is she going to win anything soon? But you don't belong here among these human cactus plants. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, uh... Hi. Hey, remember me? Oh, we're gonna get a love triangle here. Adios, Amanita. I gotta go. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Watson. Adios, hermano. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. V. Pull out the six year. Cattleman revolver. Why do you and Mr. Lee always speak Spanish? <laughs> Because the world's going to be taken over in a hundred years. Get used to it. It's the language of our desert. You are to learn it. Sacre bleu. Si pas français. Non espagnol. What is the Spanish for I love you? Te amo, mi amor. Oh, she walked off. <laughs> Please forgive me. Pull my finger. <laughs> Living after midnight. Rocking till the dawn. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Yeah, how'd you get up there? I really gotta climb up there. Out here, Mr. Holmes, one doesn't say to learn how to I love you. One learns how to prove it. Buenos noches, senora. You gotta work for your meal. Goodbye. I'm starting across the desert tomorrow. I make it back here, it'll be a miracle. Can we get rid of this blue light, please? And we fade to black. The advance guard of an unconquered race. Engineers plotting the pathway of the future. We're gonna get a railroad or something? Oh, we're great. The Oregon Trail. Got about an hour to go. Just keep it down. Hey, hey. Why we stop? Is that a donkey? Gotta hitch the horse. <laughs> the withering kiss of the desert. What is that, a dead nag? No, oh, that don't beat all. Better watch that softy, the heat's beginning to get to him. That's supposed to be Abe. Hey, uh, you're gonna have to put your load around here. Can't you stand the gaff, Mr. Holmes? Not really. <laughs> this hell hole will never be anything but a graveyard. You can see it if your brains weren't fried. <laughs> Maybe we ain't got the brains. Maybe you ain't got the guts. <laughs> Good comeback. You gutless motherfucker. Uh, perhaps you're right. <laughs> And he always... Oh, yes. He's thinking about Barbara again. I'll go as far as you or any other man will go.
Untamed Colorado. The sinews of war. Food, water, building. This reminds me of that movie Cimarron. The Oklahoma Gold of Land Rush. Except this is Colorado! The first sign of victory, the wall of the gigantic gateway through which the river will reach to the thirsty soil. Mm. I thought you were up to no good. I challenge you to a duel! And with victory come the home seekers, home builders struggling across the desert sands. <laughs> Look at the dog. Are those all kids? Oh, that's teamwork. Wow, making the kids do all the work. You kidding me? Damn it, I can't move. Wind her up again, Ma. Well, looks like we're gonna have to walk. <laughs> I'm gonna put gas in it next time. <laughs> Look at the dog. This sounds like carnival music. <laughs> Look at the guy in the burrow. Hey, get a pair of spurs. <laughs> the mushroom metropolis known as Kingston grown up almost overnight. The man whose money helped achieve the impossible and who now intends to repay himself a thousandfold. Well, that don't be all. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody alive? No? Good. Well, Mr. Greenfield, everybody needs to talk about your big success out here.
down. Everybody run. It's a gal. It's a gal. Tom Spitz just had a baby. <laughs> yes, using the media. You got your town crier who circulation is about what, 50 yards? <laughs> What's all the hollering for? Well, there's no such thing as phones right now, so we gotta have the town crier. That's the first baby born in my town. The great day when the mighty river will wake it into life. The best buried acres of the promised land. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Damn, it's hot out of here. All right, we have 56 minutes remaining. By Joe, we made it, everybody. The signal. <laughs> the waters came laughing, leaping, carrying with them life, hope, wealth, to fill the emptiness with flowers and fruits and golden grain. Yay! Anybody want to go rafting? Victory cigar. Holmes. And he kisses her. And he does not like it one bit. <laughs> he doesn't like it one bit. <laughs> Great, now you got a river. You're going to stare at it, you're going to do something with it. Look at that irrigation. <laughs> prosperity? Much talk of prosperity. Or for one man only, a man with an insatiable thirst for gold. Shave and a haircut. <laughs> he sat right on top of him. Oh, it's this guy again. Wait a minute. Let me see that. A dollar? Six bits for a shave? Hell, let the alfalfa grow. He's charging 75 cents for a shave. Can you believe this? Fuck this. Yeah. This town's nothing but a nest of robbers. Greenfield's a worse thief than we are. You've got to rob to keep up with his high prices. Meanwhile, back in the hole. Hola, senorita. Que tal? Muy bien, gracias, senor.
and he's going to make his move. I just came by to say I can't come to dinner. I'm ordered to the river. I'm sorry, I was baking this pie especially for you. I'm going to eat soon, I don't want to go alone. I want to take you along! Ironically, Gary Cooper is younger than her. Now, she's supposed to be, what, 18 years old or so? Yeah, Ronald Coleman is 35 playing Holmes. She's 28 playing an 18-year-old. And Gary Cooper's 25 here. He's actually the younger, youngest of the three. <laughs> Greenfield's first open move to reach control of the gateway. So I will no longer require your services as the gateway is practically completed and Mr. Holmes and I decided against further reinforcement work. Greenfield present. Well, this sucks. That eh, skunk. Holmes and Greenfield ought to be lynched. They're no better than murderers. Don't you dare say that. Holmes knows the river's rising and is liable to be a flood that'll sweep this town away. Father warned him he'd have to reinforce the gateway. That's why we're fired. Homeward bound from the sullen Colorado. The caravan of Jefferson Ward seeking a new and safer land for his people. <laughs> We're all fired. Everybody go home. Barbara, you said to be waiting. What does this mean? She ain't waiting. <laughs> Oh, 
But I demand an explanation. My love for you gives me that right. Your love. You love nothing but money. The money of poor souls who trusted you as I did. You suck. He thinks he can wreck me, but I'll wreck him. I'll show this desert rat how I can fight. Greenfield and Holmes, a new superhero team. Actually, no, these are the villains. Jefferson Worth's pledge of faith to his people, the month old town of Barba. High up on the mesa, he named after his daughter. Hello, Kingston. Goodbye, Kingston. Hello, Barba. <laughs> Now she's winning. Scooby Doo. Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! Whoa, 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 whoa! Three cheers for Jefferson Warren, the savior of the desert! I've got worth where I want him now. He can't meet his next payroll. Hey, hey, you hear me? Read this telegram. You know I can't read. Another bank refuses me credit. Greenfield has blocked me in every direction. I can't meet my payroll.
He wins. Damn it. Hey, 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 we're all here trying to get paid. <laughs> Don't give up. Cartwright, the big New York financier, has just reached San Felipe. We appeal to him, perhaps. Worth has skipped. We'll never get our pay. Let's wreck the damn town and go back to Kingston. What's going on out here? Sorry, miss. In spite of all I can do to quiet them, the men are threatening to burn the town. Explain to them that father has gone to San Felipe to get the money. We'll go down and explain the little delay and keep him in a good humor. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna work. Alright, I'm starting to get bored. How much time is left? Alright, we got 37 minutes. Oh. Alright, I've had worse. I had to sit through four hours of Lawrence of Arabia. I can handle 37 minutes here. <laughs> Let me just look at the camera. Mr. Cartwright, our mission is useless. Our enemy, Mr. Holmes, is here is ahead of us. On the contrary, my friend Mr. Holmes has persuaded me to invest in your project and also advance money for your immediate needs. Hello! The plot thickens. Days before cell phones. I want to speak with Mr. Worth. Oh, Barbara. It was a long time we're here. Me. Barbara, have you forgotten my voice? No. Oh, you. Hey, Jefferson, it's your daughter on the line. Tell them I've got the money. Abe Lee will ride back with it at once. <laughs> By himself. I'll tell them in.
I'll ride with Abe Lee. The risk is too great for one man. Oh, you dirty double crosser. You dirty, dirty bum, you. <laughs> Holmes, you are trying to play the hero for Bar, but don't forget it's a 24 hour ride. This is no time to pick a quarrel with me, Lee. <laughs> Can we get home safe before we duel to the death? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting around. You just said pretty and know nothing. And leave Abe to the sweet smelling rosebud. Daybreak at Devil's Canyon. And now we go pink. <laughs> And now we're going to change the tint again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got an ambush ready for him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, oh, look out! Oh, they got me! Nice aim. Holmes is a crack shot. Uh oh. Did he hit the horse or did he hit him? Oh, it hit the horse and it landed on him. Got the high ground. Oh, they got me. Nah, eh, just graze me. Where'd that come from? You see where it come from? Oh. <laughs> He's got the high ground. 
What are you going to do? Shoot him from a mile away? Well, wonderful. They got all the bandits. Now, how are they going to get back to town? Oh. What's he gonna do? Walk the whole way? Yeah, Gary Cooper doesn't look too good. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was a twenty four hour ride. Nightfall at Barbara with no sign of Abe Lee. Now we got a blue tint. And now we got a red tint. The movie goer said, Whoa, look at this creeper. So, it's Rex. 27 minutes to go. Don't mind me, Holmes. Please take the money and go. <laughs> Holmes just like, no, if I did that, she'll never forgive me. <laughs> no, if he... If... Here. <laughs> You just gonna leave him there? <laughs> ride home, for God's sake, ride. <laughs> She's gonna leave him there. Seeing your smiling face reminds me of what Mr. M Miss M Mrs. Murphy said to Mrs. Casey. <laughs> they don't look amused. Are you in trouble with cold feet? I am, but they're not me own. <laughs> Look at that, the other guy's like, no. <laughs> They're going to pull it down. <laughs> Look at the guy's face. The crowd's just laughing at one of Pat's little jokes. <laughs> They're going to lynch him. <laughs> no.
What is that? Abe Lee is dead. You better come with me. She's got a gun! Ride! Ride, Holmes, ride! You dirty double-crosser. Who the hell is that? Oh, no! She... Wait, did she, did she hit the maid? Did he hit the maid or no? It's just there was nobody there. <laughs> he did it. No, she did it. The save. No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. He's gonna drop. Is he dead or did he just faint? Abe is at Coyote Wells, wounded. Send help. <laughs> he ain't dead yet. Is he dead? Is he dead or did he just pass out? The morning. All right, he just passed out. All right, he's all right. Now we got the yellow tint. Great. How much time left? All right, we got 20 minutes left. Leave up. Am I killing you? Yes. <laughs> I'd rather enjoy. I believe I'm going to make it. You know how wonderful you are. Barbara, Barbara, I love you. Ma'am, come quick. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they carried him in on a stretcher. Oh, Holmes, we did it. We did it. Oh, oh, oh. Your love for me is a sister's love for a brother. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here comes Holmes. I refuse to enter this house. So are you in love with Barbara Worth? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. She means more to me than anything else in the world. A man of your position to marry a desert waif. I shall never ask her to marry me. Because she loves another man. There's a cloud burst on the upper river. The gateway is overflowing already. Eh, yeah, sandbags. Uh oh. Yeah, this shit ain't working. Everybody clear out. <laughs> Some of you warn the ranches, we'll warn the town.
<laughs> shoot. The Colorado broke through. Run for your lives. <laughs> Run for your lives. What if I land two if I see? Here comes the seat. <laughs> we went to disaster movie. Run for your lives! The Colorado's coming! All close me by Wyoming! What? Who? Who? What? Run for your lives! The water's breaking through! Get the hell out of here before I call the cops! Run for the high mesa! Uh, <laughs> what were they sleeping on a roof? Oh, boy. Taking an enormous boss. What do you do? Pull the plug. <laughs> Look at this mass confusion. Go on to Barbara, you'll be safe there. Oh, that's right, they said they were going to destroy Kingston. Nah, this guy's in a wheelchair, he ain't going anywhere. Hey, a little help. Oh, <laughs> idiot. Why don't you look where I'm going? Well, like they said, a person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals. Not one of them is helping out that dude. Everybody's running. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, that, that that guy ain't going any very very far.
Pah, this guy's done for. Oh, well, serves him right. Yeah, just swim for it. <laughs> He's zombified. Bye bye, Greenfield. Meanwhile, back in the hole. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Seven minutes left. Yeah, they made it. Well, that don't beat all. Our battle with the river has just begun. We've got to drive it back and hold it there. The future of this valley is in our hands. Never fuck with Mother Nature. Is that Greenfield? He made it? I'll be damned. <laughs> oh, it's you. Ha ha ha. All right, so here's the million dollar question. Is she going to marry Holmes or is she going to marry Lee? Miss Worth, you have to re you have little reason to like me. Oh, this is his baby face turn. I don't expect you to, but I ask for you to be fair to Willard. Willard!
You have misjudged him. He loves you. He will always love you, though he believes it to be hopeless. When the fight is won, I'm coming back for you. Meanwhile, Gary Cooper's like, yeah, leave. I'll take her in between. <laughs> oh, what a Kodak moment. Wait, was that invented yet? And Holmes won. The river, arch enemy of man, became a servant. Harnessed to do his will. <laughs> the glorious dream was a glorious reality. The sun-blistered wasteland had become a second Eden. Orange groves. Vineyards. Thriving little cities, a new empire in the wilderness. Just watch out for my alerts. You know, look at the cars. Ah, look at the mansion! And there was great joy, and the young crops grew and flourished mightily. And everybody lived happily ever after. That's my grandmother. Dun, 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 dun. The end. <sighs> Finally. Well, guys, that was the winning of Barbara Worth. Let me shut that off. Good Lord. All right, well, what to say about that movie? Um... Not as epic as Dawn Juan, but it wasn't a complete waste of time. It actually had some elements that were interesting, especially that disaster part. And that gunfight between the bandits and, you know, and uh, Holmes and, and Lee there. Gary Cooper trying to win the love of a girl, and then says, and he gives up on it, saying, you know what? Yeah, I give up. You win. <laughs> uh, well, like I said, not the biggest waste of time, but again... You can't judge a movie from 1926 on on today's standards. There's no dialogue. There's no there's no pizzazz. There's nothing. You know the tinted changes of filming was you know common back then because it wasn't like modern technology. They didn't have all the shit we do today, including sound. But it was watchable. That's all I can ask for. It was watchable. It was you know only an hour and a half long. It told a good story, you know, the, the land rush in Colorado. Like I said, a couple of years later, Cimarron would come out. Basically the same thing, only in Oklahoma. So, land rush movies were a thing. Westerns were a thing. So, pretty standard for its time. Like I said, you can't judge the acting in a silent movie because you can't really... There's no really dialogue there. You know, they weren't supposed to, you know, put that much effort into it. 
And that's about it. It was watchable. Do I recommend it? Hell fucking no. No sane human being besides a, you know, a cinephile is going to want to watch a movie from 95 years ago. <laughs> Actually, no. If I had to chip pick between this and Don Juan, I'd take Don Juan. I'd recommend that over this. So, what does that tell you? So, unless you are into 95-year-old movies, don't bother. <laughs> All right. That about ends up another edition of Warlock's Movie Realm on Public Domain Days. Now, get out of here before I give you a slap.